Here at Drift Games, we are huge fans of Hoonigan. Everything from Ken Block's Gymkhana series right up to their daily transmissions on YouTube. Now, for years, we never dreamed that we'd be able to work with such a cool company, but it's become a reality, as now Drift Games has become the sole official reseller of Hoonigan merchandise here in Ireland. Now, to celebrate that incredible moment and how awesome it is for us, we got an exclusive interview with Ken Block. And in this video, we get to chat to him about everything from YouTube to his cars to what makes him tick. Check this out. It was a real dream opportunity for me and one that I could barely contain my excitement. Check it out. What's up guys, it's Dave from Drift Games here. and This week we've got a huge announcement. Drift Games, for the first time ever, are bringing Hoonigan to Ireland. And we've got the main Hoonigan in charge, Ken Block here. Ken, thank you so much for taking time to have a chat with us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. You're here in Ireland, which is a special moment for every car fan in Ireland because when it was announced that you were coming to Ireland for your favorite sport, rallying, it sort of brought a lot of heritage in Ireland of rallying to sort of the new age of media machine that is motorsport with you guys in Hoonigan. So how's your experience been so far? Uh, it's been amazing. I, I've only been in Ireland once before, uh, but I've always wanted to come here and race this particular rally. And really from everything that I've seen, this particular rally has some of the best tarmac roads in the world, roads that I, I would like, meaning that they're there's a lot of undulation to them, there's a lot of jumps, uh, there, there are really a lot of mixed surfaces and rough. Um, I've enjoyed racing in tarmac in other places like Spain and Germany, but I like stuff that's a bit more kind of wild and different, and that's what you have here. Uh, and, and I've done the recce the last two days and it really looks like, you know, the legends are true, yeah. like the roads look amazing. I can't wait to start racing tomorrow. Awesome. Well. We run a company that's always showing people cool cars in unique ways, and that's very much what Hoonigan is all about. Talk to us about, you know, we're now trying to tell people what Hoonigan is about in Ireland, and they've watched all the YouTube channels, they've seen all your gym kind of stuff, but when it comes to the merchandising, it's a much more passionate project for you. It's not something of just putting a name on a t-shirt. You guys put really invest time in the design and the efforts, and also transfer it from your own cars to everything people can wear at home. Yeah, well, I, I grew up skateboarding and snowboarding and riding dirt bikes, and, and I had a company called DC before this that we made skateboard shoes. Uh, and we really lived kind of the lifestyle of what we did. And, and that was a big passion project. And, and uh, when I was done with that, I started racing cars. And, and so we, we built Hoonigan around the same idea of let's, let's share the essence of what we love in cars and how we want to, how we experience cars uh, in a brand. So not only the, the apparel side of things, but also the branding and the marketing and everything that we do with the company. So but before you know, we came along, there weren't a lot of brands actually expressing that side of things. There's been various brands that have done you know, motorsports type stuff, but in the way of having fun with cars yeah. and really kind of experiencing cars the way that, that we do, there, there wasn't necessarily a brand. So we've had a lot of fun doing that. It's, it's been everything from, you know, simple burnout videos to making the Jim Connor videos yeah. and getting nominated for Emmys, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's kind of wild, the range of things that we do, but it's, it's been incredibly fun. And it's, it's rad that we have so many fans around the world that, that like the same thing that we do and like what we bring to the market with him again, so thanks fans, appreciate that. <laughs> I, think, I think one thing that struck a chord, especially in Ireland is, you know, we're car fans, and I think what Hoonigan brings is a relatability yeah. through people not being super professional all the time, but just having a lot of fun with cars and not doing something that, you know, we've watched Formula One, we've watched all these big motorsports, yeah. and it all seems so far away. But what Hoonigan has done is brought it back to the general guy on the street to just watch and have fun and do sort of emulate it a little bit himself when he goes to the track or whatever and show the joy of having a fun car that you love. Yeah, I think that that's a, that's a difficult thing in motorsports that there is Formula One and NASCAR and, and drag racing, all these things that are done at such a high level. And, yeah. I, and I appreciate watching that. But at the end of the day, we want to go do this certain stuff and without the giant budgets, it's, it's, it's hard to be at that level. So yeah. we do try and relate and do things that are really uh, 
at a very simple base level. Of course, there's the things that I do with the Chicano yeah. videos and the Hoonicorn and all that sort of stuff. It does get quite expensive, but we also like to do stuff, you know, with, with a lot of different people at grassroots levels and people that do amazing builds and, and bring them in, especially there in, in California at the at our headquarters in Long Beach and now at the new Burnyard, but bring people out and make them yeah. drive their stuff and abuse it, you they, know? They become the star. Right, because, uh, you know, for us, we're not about trailer queens. We're not about stuff that just yeah. gets parked. We want we want to see stuff driven, and I drive everything of mine, you know what I mean? And that's, we experience the car culture that we love in a, in a participation way. Yeah, not it's, it's a, open to everybody. Right, exactly. And, and the success, I mean, we're big fans of daily transmissions and what the guys do there. Yeah. Did that start off as just a, let's see how it goes, or was there a bigger plan? Because it's hugely successful now. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was, that's really all the brainchild of, of Brian Scotto, uh, my business partner, and he really wanted to, to bring the culture of what they do there at Hoonigan more to life and really show having fun with cars in more unique ways. And, you know, we've always done stuff at the Hoonigan headquarters, you know? And so, you know, kind of bringing that story to life was a great way, you know, YouTube is a great avenue to bring that to life. Yes. So, uh, you know, they started making those shows a couple of years ago and it's just, it's a beast up. now. Yeah, there's, it, there's so many shows, really it's hard a to beast. work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I can a lot of work for all of us, including me nowadays, because now we've been pushing my channel a lot this year, and that's gotten kind of crazy. And I just wanted to mention that you've now switched from, you know, obviously we're used to the super polished Ken Block productions over the yep. years, and they're amazing. And But you've now gone on the, the vlog side of it, following this, this world tour. Yep. Is that just about opening up a little bit more of the day-to-day -to, -day to the public and showing them you on a more personal level than just a set-piece level? Yeah, you know, the, the thing for me is, I, th I think what I've enjoyed over the years with social media is being able to share the rad sides of motorsports. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was a big fan of Michael Schumacher back today. Yep. Colin McRae is probably my biggest hero in rallying. I would have loved to have seen all that yep. behind the scenes stuff sure. back then, you know? And, and so we're trying to bring that to life in the modern day motorsports and really take advantage of what's available to, to show the building of like the Kazi version yeah. two and, and you know, the hoon sitting in the shop and what we're doing with it and taking the can nams out and throwing them around, you know? So I, I really enjoy all that stuff. And the YouTube channel to me is just now a further extension of that. And it's actually a lot of work. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I've taken on something more this year than, than I really wanted to, but I think it's a great extension of showing kind of what we do, how we live, how we do certain things. And we even put out something today that's a start of like a, a guide of how to take a Can-Am and go to like some of the places that I take my stuff and it's actually a guide of how to go there and do this stuff. So it's like a how-to of yeah, how to do what it, you do. Right, exactly. So it's it's that sort of experience that the internet gives us the opportunity to do that you couldn't do before. So we're just trying to find more and better ways to then tell those stories. Well, I'm sure, look, all of our fans will be watching Hoon again as always. And we thank you for taking some time to sit down with us today. And you guys remember that now on driftgames.life, you can purchase all of the full Hoonigan range here in Ireland without the long waits from shipping from the States. You guys <laughs> can get involved in the culture right away. Thank you, Ken, really yeah. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank Thanks for having me in Ireland. Enjoying it. All right, if you're looking to get fresh Hoonigan gear here in Ireland, go to driftgames.live for all your Hoonigan needs.